Hey there, LEGO fans. Welcome back. Alex here. In this video, we will be building the newest Ninjago, Destiny's Bounty. Uh, now, this is not the only ship to be called Destiny's Bounty, or LEGO set, I should say. Uh, it's the third one, actually. If we go back to 2012, there was a Destiny's Bounty. Uh, not much to that particular set. Uh, then again, in 2017, they really beefed it up uh, with that Destiny's Bounty. That's one that I actually have as well. We can do a quick comparison uh, with that, too. Uh, and now we have... Uh, uh, this one, the uh, newest Destiny's Bounty for 2020, set 71705, has 1,781 pieces, seven minifigures with this as well, and retails for $130. So we're going to go ahead and do a time-lapse build of this, a quick review, and find a spot for it downstairs in the basement. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're back. Destiny's Bounty the third is complete. And I got to say, I, I got to be completely honest here with you guys. As I was building this, I was having a little bit of buyer's remorse, thinking, why did I buy another Destiny's Bounty? There's not really any value in adding this to my collection. But I was about halfway through when I thought to myself, you know what? This is a pretty cool ship. It's a really nice kit uh, that they put together here. And I say that because of the amazing detail of this thing. Uh, this thing doesn't take any very large parts. There's none of those large hull elements at the bottom to put this together. There's a lot of very small and detailed pieces throughout this thing from the front to the back, or I guess I should say from the bow to the stern. Uh, this thing is packed with incredible details uh, that the designer did really well at putting together. I, I was amazed at how many little tiny pieces just came together to make this thing look really good. From afar, it looks like your, your typical boat. I guess the sails stick out the most, uh, but it's when you look at it up close and you see these fine details all around that you really appreciate uh, the, uh, the approach that LEGO put on this thing from, again, a lot of small pieces in this thing. And now I am actually very happy that I made the purchase because this is one cool Destiny's Bounty. My favorite part of the ship has actually got to be the dragon head at the bow of the ship. This thing has incredible detail to it, and I was really impressed with the amount of pieces. Again, so many little pieces involved in this build. Now, this boat is supposed to fly, so it does have this uh, uh, slight transformation that it takes uh, with the sails, and this is really cool. Uh, there's some gears down here at the base of the mast that you can just pull, uh, push down on, and that extends these sails into wings, it looks like. Uh, very smooth how they got that to work out uh, and it's really easy to move back and forth I found myself playing with that with that quite a bit as soon as I finished the model at the back you have these engines or wings and you just pull these down they both mow down go down together see that very very smooth and at the other side as you uh, put those down it reveals these two uh, engines on either side of Destiny's Bounty and there it is in flying mode all around uh, to put it back into floating mode I guess is what we call it. you can actually let me put it down here uh, push in on these engines and that will here let me put this down first so you can see this a little bit better uh, watch the wings in the back there you push these in and they flip back up uh, you can also do it the other way around move these back and that was retract inside of the hole let's talk playability this thing does have this uh, a dojo section that actually comes off and that reveals uh, the bridge right here which is pretty high tech for a boat uh, but uh, this is a flying boat of course and it's got to have some pretty cool tech stuff in there but let's take a look at this dojo right here this um, I believe the roof uh, pops off here and as you can see this extends to be the dojo so you can actually take this thing off and and have your characters come in here and practice their moves there is um, an actual uh, practice dummy in here let me pull this thing out in the hull of the ship 
that you can take out and they can practice. There is a secret hatch here on the roof of the dojo. You take this thing out and you see this little chest in here. Let's pull that thing out here. It does have this golden sword at the side of it. And if we open it up, we see some more very fierce uh, weaponry. If I can get this thing open, there we go. Now, what is super cool about Ninjago sets in general is the amount of extra weaponry that you get. First off, the characters themselves are armed to their teeth, but you get so many extra swords and knives when you buy these sets. It's incredible. Um, uh, that uh, you actually have this additional collection of uh, weaponry at your uh, your disposal for other characters. Inside of the ship, there's not much of an interior aside from the main bridge there that transforms into the dojo. Um, but just a little bit of cargo area in there. You can see the, uh, the dummy in there uh, and some steps up onto the bridge on that side. But really, uh, nothing even remotely close to the uh, 2017 version of Destiny's Band, which has a very impressive... Uh, lower deck, uh, but again the price point on, the, on those two ships is quite different. So it may be a minifigure, it's not going to be able to stand up straight in there if I put in uh, Master Wu here for example, uh, put him in there. There we go. Yeah, so Master Wu is, is standing up in there and so yeah, a minifigure would be able to work just fine in there. Here's the instruction booklet very thick book. Uh, again, this thing has almost 1,800 pieces to it, and uh, Lego likes this um, process of only adding just a very few amount of pieces per page. That's why these instruction booklets are so darn thick these days. Uh, but they have 14 sections, uh, but it's uh, I think it was actually section 7 or 8 is when I got really excited about this thing and thought, you know what, I made a good decision <laughs> behind this thing because it is very, very cool. If we go towards the end of this thing, um, I think it actually uh, shows off some of the uh, the cool features of the ship. Yeah, there we go. Some of the playability with it, uh, which in my mind is top notch. Seven minifigures in this set, which I think is a really good amount. Uh, starting on the right, we've got Zane, Jay, uh, Cole, and then Kai. Master Wu, of course, is in here. And we have Samurai X and young Leloid Garmadon. We remove their masks and hats to reveal their faces. And uh, these expressions here are their, I guess, ready to fight uh, faces. They all have reversible faces, except for Master Wu. He's always got this the same calm and collected face going on there. Uh, but the other side reveals their, I guess, these would be their, their shocked faces or... Uh, I don't know, but uh, it's pretty cool that they have uh, double faces there. And uh, Zane's, man, his is just, I don't know, it's... <laughs> It's, I don't know if it's uh, scary or funny, but I, either way, I love it. So we're downstairs, and the Destiny's Bounty is lined up next to its predecessor, the Destiny's Bounty from 2017. Uh, there's a $40 difference in price between these two. The original here was 2000, uh, from 2017 was, uh, I think, $170, and of course the new newer one here is $130. I would say that the old one is, gosh, it's got to be at least twice the size of the uh, the newer one it's just incredible uh, but uh, that uh, that's not a strike against the newer newer one because this one does have to fly it's a flying toy right not really but uh, the kids are gonna be picking this thing up and flying it through the sky uh, so it has to be uh, small and, and nimble and uh, whereas this one would be just clunky and losing pieces all over the place if you try to fly this around uh, your home uh, but regardless, great ships, both of them, and I would recommend the, the newer one to you. Uh, it's, a, got, like I said, a lot of fun features, a lot of great playability. Um, and I really wish Ninjago was around when I was a kid. Man, these things are a lot of fun. Uh, as an adult, I don't really get on my hands and knees and play much anymore. Uh, they usually just come down here and they sit here and gather dust and just are mainly for show. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this build and review of the new Destiny's Bounty. Let me know what you guys think of the set, and uh, we'll have some more fun stuff coming up for you in the near future. Until then, you guys have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.